Hey, you magnificent mathematicians. We're gonna go through question number 14. Miss Palmer here, by the way. I kind of assume you guys know that by now, which just by the way that I talk. But in any case, uh, number 14 reads, Jesse buys a pair of new jeans for $80. The sales tax rate is 4%. What is the final price of the jeans? So first off, I know I'm looking for that final price. I am not looking for the tax rate. I am not looking for anything else but the final price of the jeans, which means I'm going to find the tax and then I'm going to add it to the $80. So already I know answer choice A is wrong because that's way too small. And answer choice C is wrong because also way too small. And I'm thinking answer choice D is also wrong. But you know what? Let's do the math and prove it. So first things first, I need to find what is 4% of $80. Did you notice how I dropped that decimal in two zeros? It's just 80. I don't need to multiply by a bunch of zeros. We always drop them at the end of decimals. Only at the end of decimals. Do not drop your zeros at the end of the numbers. If we drop the zero after 80, it becomes eight. That is a different number, y'all. But 80.00 is the exact same number as 80. So. I dropped it. Now I have two choices. I can do a proportion, or what I prefer to do is convert this. 4% we know is 0 0.04. We know of means to multiply, so times. Well, an 80 is already a number that we can manipulate. So I'm just gonna do 80 times 0.04 or 0 0.04 times 80. Then I'm going to add it because tax is always an increase in price. We always add that to our original price of the item. So 80 times 0 0.04. Zero times four is zero, eight times four is 32. You know what, and I'm not gonna multiply times the zeros because that's just gonna be a bunch of zeros, so why bother? So I see that there are two numbers to the right of the decimal, so that means I'm gonna go in twice. So my tax is $3.20, and I'm going to add $3.20 to 80, which means $3.20 plus 80. So let's make sure all of our decimals are aligned. So I am gonna put those zeros back just to make sure my numbers are good. Zero plus zero is zero, zero plus two is two, pull down that decimal, zero plus three is three, and eight plus nothing is eight. So the final price is $83.20. Let's double check it. Oh, yep, that's right. So again, looking at my answer choices, y'all, logically speaking, A and C could not have been my answer. I mean, do we see that? The $3.20 is my tax rate. It is not the final price of the jeans. The $20, I honestly don't even know where that came from. Maybe 80 divided by four is 20? It is, it is 20. But that's not what we're doing. So $20 also cannot be the final price of my jeans. It doesn't make sense. And the $80.40 also doesn't make sense because that just looks like I'm adding 0.4 plus 80. And where did 0.4 come from? 4% is not 0.4 as a decimal. 4% is 0 0.04. So come on guys, let's use our brains. We got this. So if you got this wrong, then um, try to pinpoint exactly where you went wrong in the problem. So that way we don't make that mistake again, you guys.